dear students this is our eighth lecture on medicinal chemistry and uh, second lecture on cardiovascular drugs and in this lecture uh, we will describe what are antiarrhythmic drugs and what are their applications in the first lecture uh, that is on cardiovascular drugs uh, we have discussed about cardiac glycosides, antihypertensive drugs and hypotensive drugs. And in the present lecture, we will discuss what are antiarrhythmic agents. Uh, antiarrhythmic agents, uh, which are also known as cardiac uh, dysrhythmia medications, are a group of pharmaceuticals uh, which are used to suppress abnormally fast rhythms. Uh, in the medical term this is called as tachycardia so uh, these agents they uh, can be used for arterial uh, fibrillation supraventricular tachycardia and ventricular tachycardia for all those types of abnormalities uh, we can give antiarrhythmic agents uh, which will suppress the abnormality uh, uh, under these types of diseases. Now, uh, antiarrhythmic agents, uh, there are uh, many classifications which are available for uh, antiarrhythmic agents and uh, depending upon the mode of action of the uh, antiarrhythmic agents, different types of uh, classifications they have been done. So, uh, the uh, drugs uh, affecting the cardiac uh, action potential, uh, they will affect the various types of uh, channels, either sodium channels, potassium channels, calcium channels. So, depending upon the kind of uh, channel which is blocked by these types of uh, agents, uh, these have been classified into class 1, class 2, class 3 or class 4 type of antiarrhythmic agents. Now, uh, class 1, uh, they are those antiarrhythmic agents which will block the sodium ion channel. Whereas, class 2, uh, they are mainly beta blockers and uh, they will uh, mainly block the uh, potassium ion channels then uh, class 3 are also uh, potassium channel blockers and class 4 type of antiarrhythmic agents they will block the calcium channel so depending upon uh, this mode of action on the different types of channels uh, based on the uh, action potential uh, of the cardiac uh, effect these uh, have been classified and one more classification which is uh, commonly accepted these days is wagon william classification and uh, according to this classification uh, in addition to those four types of uh, antiarrhythmic agents class 1 2 3 4 another type of antiarrhythmic agent that is class 5 agents they have been added and uh, these work by uh, unknown mechanisms so uh, all other four they are the same ones sodium uh, channel blockers antisympathetic nervous system agents uh, which i have told you they are the beta blockers then uh, potassium efflux uh, is used as mode of action then calcium channel blockers uh, they are class 4 type of antiarrhythmic agents so this is uh, the new class which has been added by wagon villian and uh, this is uh, the most accepted classification for different types of antiarrhythmic drugs now uh, depending upon uh, the type of antiarrhythmic agents the class 1 uh, uh, is further sub categorized into 1A, 1B and uh, 1C type of uh, sodium channel blockers and uh, 
these uh, sodium channel blockers they are also called as membrane stabilizing agents and this stabilization uh, refers to the decrease of uh, excitogenicity of the plasma membrane and uh, this uh, decrease in excitogenicity of the plasma membrane is brought about by the antiarrhythmic agents so uh, as i've told you that they have been divided into these three categories 1a 1b and 1c based on their effect uh, on the length of the action potential so uh, 1a type of antiarrhythmic agents they uh, will block the sodium uh, channel and their association uh, intermediate association or dissociation and uh, in addition they will uh, also uh, have potassium channel blocking effect and uh, these uh, type of antiarrhythmic agents they will prolong the action potential and has an intermediate effect on the zero phase of the depolarization and uh, these are used uh, to treat ventricular uh, arrhythmia uh, prevent paroxysmal uh, recurrent artificial fibrillation triggered by vagal overactivity then uh, this is uh, also used uh, for the treatment of wolf parkinson white syndrome and this will increase qt intervals also and the common uh, examples of these types uh, of uh, antiarrhythmic agents they are quinidine uh, which is uh, this quinoline, uh, quinoline uh, alkaloid then asmaline this is al again an alkaloid then uh, spartin uh, which is most commonly used this is also an alkaloid then this is a pyridine alkaloid disopridine and procanamide is again a heterocyclic compound then second category is uh, 1b type of antiarrhythmic agents uh, they will uh, mainly block sodium channel and uh, they shorten the action potential of myocardial cell and has a weak effect on the initiation of phase 0 of depolarization and uh, they are generally used for the treatment or uh, and prevention of ventricular arrhythmia during and immediately after myocardial infarction infarction uh, then these are the examples uh, of antiarrhythmic agents which are used for this purpose lidocaine maxillotine tokenidae and phenytoin so all these uh, they are uh, this is again a heterocyclic compound and these are uh, having a mild function group and tertiary mean function group whereas here this uh, uh, nitrogen is replaced by oxygen and uh, here instead of tertiary mean there is a primary mean amino functional group then third category is uh, sodium channel blockers so class 1c they do not affect action potential duration and has the strongest effect on the initiation phase zero of the depolarization uh, they prevent uh, paroxysmal RTL fibrillation and they are uh, used for treatment of recurrent uh, tachycardia associated with uh, abnormal conduction pathways uh, such as uh, wolf parkinson white syndrome and uh, these are the commonly used uh, antiarrhythmic agents for uh, class 1c ancandine then uh, flecandine then propafenone these are the three commonly used uh, antiarrhythmic agents under class 1c then uh, class 2 as i told you they are mainly big, uh, beta blockers and uh, these are uh, the beta blockers which are uh, the structure of these ones uh, which uh, we have already seen in case of uh, uh, lecture one then these are the two additional carbidolol and basoprolol uh, they are the additional uh, 
examples of beta blockers which can be used as antiarrhythmic agents uh, they will decrease mortality in patients with myocardial infarction then uh, they will uh, prevent recurrence of the tachycardia so uh, these are the effects of these types of beta blockers on, on the heart diseases then class 3 is uh, potassium channel blockers again they are used uh, for the treatment of wall for uh, parkinson white syndrome then they are also used for treatment of ventricular tachycardia and arterial fibrillation uh, then uh, these are also used uh, to treat uh, arterial flutter and arterial fibrillation uh, they are also used for prevention of uh, pyroxymal uh, arterial fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia and these are uh, the type of uh, potassium channel blockers uh, which are used with the structure uh, amidarone ibutylide Sotalol, dofectolide, and uh, vernaclant. Uh, these are the various types of uh, class 3 antiarrhythmic agents which are used, and you can see that uh, the function groups present in these types of uh, antiarrhythmic agents. Uh, this is uh, sulf substituted sulfonamide group hydroxyl group and secondary amine group substituted sulfonamide group and tertiary amino group in this case then uh, hydroxyl group tertiary amino group and uh, these are the ether moieties present substituted sulfonamide group hydroxyl group and tertiary amine which are the active function groups for the uh, for these compounds to act as drugs then calcium channel blockers the structure of these uh, vermapil and diltiazem uh, is already given in lecture one and these are used to prevent uh, recurrence of uh, pyroxymal supraventricular tachycardia then these are also used to reduce ventricular rate in patients with uh, arterial fibrillation then the fifth category uh, or fifth class of uh, antiarrhythmic agent which has been added this uh, act uh, as a tract nodal inhibition uh, with unknown mechanism and uh, adenosine uh, disoxin uh, magnesium sulfate these are the most commonly used antiarrhythmic agents under this category and these uh, this is used for treatment of supraventricular arrhythmias especially in heart failure with arterial fibrillation then uh, contra indicated in uh, ventricular arrhythmia so all these types of uh, heart ailments uh, they are treated with these types of antiarrhythmic agents that is adenosine disoxin and magnesium sulfate and structure of all these we have already discussed in the lecture one so this is the literature which has been referred for preparing this lecture thank you very much